Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to do a Tulia jungle guide in flex but apparently it's against full diamonds and master tier players so I wanted to do a video in which I relax a bit, in which I try my level 2 gank tactics but oh boy but it seems like we're not going to have a relaxing game, we're going to be against the Kha'Zix into the jungle we're going to be against the Kiana, so already, and the Syndra support, this guy is a master tier player. It's already weird because, oh, he doesn't even have flash, that's that's also interesting. What are you doing? Anyway, we're going to play Tulia jungle and we're going to try... I wanted to try the level 2 gank, but I'm not sure I can against the Kiana on mid and on bot I just lose time. But we're playing Tulia jungle with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Cosmic Insight, Futures Market in these rune stats. Futures Market again to get Sorg Shoes earlier and we can we can go for Everfrost maybe this game but depends on how fed Samira is because let me tell you when you play Tilia Jungle you want to go uh, for the item that gives you damage if your team such as Ludens or Landris uh, if uh, your team doesn't have enough damage or for the item that gives you tankiness if your team has enough damage such as Everfrost and my bot lane didn't even care much about me, man. That's sad. They left so fast. What's that? They want the level to pressure, maybe, but man, that was mean. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take this and we might get ganked by the Kha'Zix in the jungle, but I don't think we're going to die because he has no flash. So if I play it properly, if I worked correctly, this should be fine, I interrupted my auto attack two times there and I noticed you guys like Tulia jungle tutorials much more than Tulia mid and obviously that's that's correct because there are much more players into the jungle well at least we got something of that now if the Kha'Zix is not here uh, then we can be fine so I'm just gonna move like this and I'm going to do a full Q. Okay, I see. I see the Kha'Zix are mid. Well, where he's going? He's going bot side. So you all see that he's going bot side, right? You all see. He has no flash. You're not allowed to miss position against that. Anyway, in the context of this game, Samira is already sort of ahead. And I think... I think Velkos will be fine. But what you want to do as a jungler is to actually ping your bot that... Because they might not be that smart to actually notice, as you just did, that Kha'Zix went onto the bot side. So you're just going to spam it like this. So that they know there is a Kha'Zix. I cannot be more specific than that. And we have here a fight, something, something. I can go for the topside scuttle, if somehow... Kiana goes missing, then I will just back off because uh, she can actually murder me. Now we see, now we see the Kha'Zix on bot. Let's see, will he get kills because we predicted the gang? No, he will not. Good, my team reacted well. And I cannot really do much here besides trying to take this, but this is not here because he took it as well. So we're just gonna recall. And we go for a second clear. We already have our Sorg Shoes. Uh, mid lane has no sums. We can help bot. We can help. Uh, we can help the the guy there. And well, okay, I have that flash there as well. It seems like Tom doesn't ping it. Well, as a top laner, mid laner, whatever, just ping the sums as Velkos just wrote. Write the sums because uh, it's much more useful. Now on mid, if we do a two versus two, we might lose. So we have to be careful to that. And I should have swapped the red trinket, I don't know why I didn't. And I will go here. Yeah, that's worth it, okay, thank you. Now if Kha'Zix is around here, he's probably topside. He's most likely topside, and yeah, we can get this. Or he's trying to gank me somewhere, and that works as well. I'm standing in this side because I expect Kha'Zix to appear mid. That's just a bold prediction, because I don't think he's going to be bot. 
and I'm going here. No, don't. Don't. I expect Kazakhs to be here, for example. But she's not. I'm not sure. I think he's taking bot. If he didn't appear here, then most likely he's taking bot or mid. He's trying. He's up to something. So I'll have to be there for it or to predict it at least. Now I'm going here with the risk of dying, but I do have flash. And yeah, I probably bot. This also opens up a free top gank. If I'll have the mana though, because this champion, man. I'm just gonna take this and. Yeah, we see Kazix. We see Kazix. So we know this is a free kill. We don't even need to risk it. Top flash. Now, Kazix is there. We see where Kazix is, right? We see that Kazix follows the Velkos, which means we have a free top side here, we hit free scuttle, right? So the, maybe even the blue buff. Because Velkos roamed while I was doing a thing top side, and that cost them. So we can just wait here, take this. They get blue they get sorry the yeah the blue as well. I get this blue and oh boy. Oh, please don't hit my blow. No. Okay. That's a cool interaction. If he survives, I'm gonna be pissed. I need to be careful to the Kiana. Man, that pisses me off. That pisses me off, I inted that so hard. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. Well, could be worse. I could have inted the entire game. So I'm just going to the blue. He stole my blue. He escaped because I was greedy to flash. And... He probably is here as well. Why did it take so long for him to take that? I'm not, not sure. Probably just got my entire jungle, exactly. He didn't get the wolves, that's weird. I know, he spent so much time there. And I also inted a lot, so this is fair. This is fair. Come on. Come on, take it. Yeah, I know you want it. Okay, go bot. Okay, got the flash. Stay like this because Kazix will certainly come. I'll just flash out if he jumps on me. Okay, one thing is clear. Well, I did not like that at all, but they misplayed as well, so it's fine. And for some reason, oh boy, I have to stay. Because the poke is necessary. Now I have to recall. Guys! Jesus! Well, I suppose that's expected. And we have a kill on top. That's just great. So we're going now to the top side here farm and Tarkin wins. And that's quite obvious. And certainly the Kazakhs will take years to actually kill the guy. And with level 6, they are level 8, we're going to do level 7 right now. Might get ganked by the Kazakhs, I do have this smite. I do have the smite for him, which reduces the damage. If Valkos overextended again, oh my god, man. 
And now you're pinging Ezreal like it's not your fault. I don't, I don't understand. Why would you waste so much time there, really? Alright. I'm gonna take this. Not attack, not attack. And I'm gonna put a vision word into the Herald Pit. Never mind. Well, he's going to win if he auto attacks. Just, just auto attack. Just auto attack. <laughs> Alright, do we need extra damage? Yeah, I'll go Lion just because Kha'Zix is not abysmally ahead. Gonna get uh, the Vision Word and gonna go straight to the bot side to farm. Mm, my Soraka will be about instantly deleted by the Kiana. Uh, yeah, I'm going for the bot. I like the fact that our top laner is ahead a lot, so we can play with that. I also have the walls up, I also have a ult that I can cast onto the bot side and there is also a blue buff spawning right now and then a scuttle, we have to get all of those, we have to try at least. I'm gonna do a deep vision over here. You are so dead. Why are you forcing this? Holy moly. And they want, the problem is that they want to do these blue buffs. This, uh, sorry. This extended trades. But they do not have exactly anything to sustain them with. Oh, come on. And I cannot go there because there is a Kiana. And yeah, I should take Drake here. This guy wanted to steal my thing. This is free. What? My mouse went away. Ah no, that was horrible for them. I don't know why their Kazix went top. Why? Well, she probably he probably wants. The bounty, but that's okay. I got that. I think Kazik just appeared there. He wants the bounty, but ganking <laughs> it's not okay to gank top, and they keep writing random stuff. There is a Kazix bot 100%. He will actually waste the Herald, which is a thing that I see even in Grandmaster. That's weird. He didn't cast the Herald, man. That's so tilting. You waste so much time taking that. Just that... I don't know. You let the plates fall. Yeah, we got another free kill here. I would check this cuttle here because it says this, but it's not there, okay? If you don't flash, oh, you don't have flash, or don't. He wasted his... He wasted his uh, stopwatch for that. Now, he's going to cast the Herald right now, that's clear. But I don't think I care that much now that the plates are done. And we also have the first tower, so... This is even, for me unnecessary to follow. I can just take this and be one level ahead. That's great. Maybe there is a Kha'Zix. Sorry. Yeah, it's Kha'Zix bot. If I were to guess. He is probably in my jungle, right? So I'm just gonna wait for this. Play it like this. 
And because our top lane is insanely fed, we can massively profit out of that. We are also winning bot. I'm going to follow. Oh boy. I did not calculate the Kiana fact. And she. This guy pinged Kiana's Ignite, but it was actually Skazix Ignite. Things like that hinder us more than it helps. Now, I'm going for that for the Rapidon's first part. And we got the Kha'Zix, that's what we wanted. We don't care about the Kiana. Uh, we don't care about the Kiana mainly because Tarn will be invincible to that. And if Falcos keeps hinting, it's his thing. He went bot twice for no reason and died, so that cost us a lot. If I were to guess, I have time if I use my passive to get this, so I'll just rush it out towards that. We have a Samira that scales well, but their Ezreal will be very, very annoying. So I have time to get here, but if this guy hints again, that's a problem. Yeah, I have time to get it. Great, man. One thing we could go for, certainly, is the soul. I can just write that. Now, if I were the Kha'Zix, I would have been in my jungle much more than I am. He's not at all, actually. Not at all. And again, there is going to be a fight which we will lose on bot. Most like, If they int, then... Yeah, we don't, but most likely... I don't know, he took the second the second herald this feels redundant because his team loses now bot for some reason i can just go there and kill the guy again that's just weird weird pathing for the guy now there is a blue buff it's going to appear any second now here which i can take like this and then just move out I see a teleport. I see another teleport. I am not there. Everyone else seems to be. But we are fine with the town being there. I can just push this. And we will probably win the fight. I don't see Kiana. So I have to position myself better. Alright, we can get this. I wanted to drag it out of the pit, well, because as usual, randomly ints, and then pings the one who killed him <laughs> in a protest. <laughs> so we got that, we got another objective, we have two more, and this objective on Tarm is actually brutal. He won't die ever again. So we're good, we're good. Also the farm, we finally started. Kha'Zix went bot because of the teleport and our top laner that went there. Kha'Zix actually lost way more than he bargained for. And if they want to fight him, I'll just go there and be there for him. Going like this in higher elos is especially dangerous. Because people know when to go for the scuttle. Mid laners know, junglers know. Like, in diamond I still see mistakes that people don't go for it. In Master Grandmaster, you start to see on Europe Nordic and Instantis, you start to see the junglers and the mid laners roaming and patting to it. Uh, but below that, on Europe Nordic and Eastern, or even North America, I expect people to have no idea how to go towards these objectives, especially in some games. In most games, it should be decent and people should know what they have to do in Diamond 1 or higher, but depends a lot, really, on the context. We have here a fight. I'm just gonna recall, I'm not sure, oh we have a Kiana, okay. Well, Soraka should die. That guy hits so nicely the, the combos, the spells. We could even probably two-man the, the Baron. I'm not sure what they keep talk, talking about. Oh boy. I mean, I can come here.
Oh, hello. But if this guy goes melee range... Yikes, I wouldn't ever go melee range into that. He went into the Kha'Zix. Okay. Can't do much here, gonna go mid. Kha'Zix ran away for some reason. Here. I'll just farm, get my stuff. And I can go there. I can expect the Kha'Zix. I can be there for the guy. No worries. Tenna is coming, I think. He's not getting damaged. So I'm staying like this because I want to defend him, his bounty. I do have the Rapidons. And I can be... I can be quite far ahead with another two vision wars now. I have the control of the vision. <sighs> Kiana, if Soraka is playing so frontline-ish, it kinda scares me, not gonna lie. That shit does not work against players that know what they are doing. And generally the Soraka goes 0 to 1000. Alright. Uh, we have these two objectives in mind. There is real, their main damage source is bot, so I do not expect them to go Baron without him. So if I see Israel, the logic states that they are going to be not on the Baron. They are not going to be doing that. And I dislike this, but I think we win hard, so... Gonna put your vision word. <laughs> I flashed over that, I loved it. And... I guess Kiana will appear somewhere here. Okay, now she's bot. I can just take this. Take my top side. Check for mid. I can get this. Push again. Increase my CS number. You can see I'm already 50 CS ahead onto the Kha'Zix. And that's because not only I counter jungled him a lot, I've actually uh, farmed mid when Velkos died and no one farmed it. So I can just clean this up. We can clean his entire jungle. I played around Tom as much as I could. So this is why we're actually winning hard now. On the top side at least, uh, you can see he's invincible. He's 50 CS ahead himself too. And I can just go for 10 CS per min in a second. I want that. I'll go that. I'll go for that really. And when you do this, you have to check this bash. We have a vision board now, so they have no idea we are doing it. But normally you should be careful and check it. You also, in lower heroes, you also have to check for the... Oh, he died. For the surprise Baron. Because they might, for example, if Israel was on the top side, they might have gone for that. They might have gone for Baron. And you can probably try to steal, but that will just give you the bounty. I still sometimes think they might go for that. They might be there, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, they are here. If I were to guess. Okay. And I cannot do jack shit. Smite it! Holy moly. Didn't lose the bounty. Yeah, they got the Baron without, as I predicted, they got the Baron without the Ezreal. And my Samira lost the 1 versus 1 to the Ezreal. Uh, that's my on my bot and on my mid because my Velkos likes to die a lot. Doesn't matter, we still do our game. There wasn't much that I could do there. Because top laner died, I could have ulted, maybe do the combo, but because there is a Kiana. I cannot really do much. Now the game plan is this is go to the actual soul. Wait this three minutes. No push bot maybe. Get a lot of gold. Now I leech a lot of gold from everyone else here. 
but at least I do something useful with it. Soraka is doing God's work, to be honest. She's insanely useful in these fights. Oh boy. This guy is serious, man. Oh boy! Okay! <laughs> I gave him a huge shutdown, that's not okay. Uh, I didn't know he's this ahead, to be honest. back off. They might win, but without me they just have no reason to fight. But Samira is just stacking here. Oh my god. And this is how we start losing. Uh, what item do I want here? Well, probably Zonia. Probably Zonia and an Oblivion Orb for the Ezreal because he will heal a lot. So, this is going to be difficult, uh, because the Israel is having armor stacking against... I'm not sure why it's armor stacking against our comp. But yeah, we could lose the game here if we're not careful. I can just get rid of this guy. Flashed it. But I have to, I have to leave this base fall, this part. You're not allowed to die here. Soraka being dead. Isn't that nice? Okay, I see no one surprisingly. One would have expected them to be here. If we get that, we will win. If we get the Drake. One for ten CS per minute. I really want that. Close to it, man. Close to it. I need someone to defend this. Stop pushing the wave. Because I cannot go there. <sighs> He's our only front line and he doesn't check this. Oak! That would have been free, man. They have absolutely no chance in a fight like this. They have absolutely no chance because <laughs> we can just poke them out. If uh, the only the only chance is if if the guy flashes. Okay, do it, do it, do it, do it. We get it, we get it, we get it. Okay, great smite. now because we have the broken soul. Just back off please. Because our base is broken. X. X X X X X X X X I hit Ezreal two times in the face with the entire combo and that's why we're actually winning because he was afraid to actually come closer. This guy should stop talking. Like, he should be the first one to stop talking. I still have time to get this. Okay, level 18. Do not hint, please. 
coming. Oh no. <laughs> Samira went in so she's dead. <laughs> Separated here. If I get this guy, then we have a chance, but now. this stun if you've been stunned for five seconds Jesus this guy is quite unkillable unless we get a full Velko's ult onto him so even though with soul I'm not sure why it's so hard to him <laughs> all right perhaps try to do a pick and maybe we'll win or get soul because Ezreal was into the soul like damage three times, so we could have. This guy goes suicidalish. Well, that's not a surprise to anyone. She just jumped there. And this is the part that I talked about before. What? Got the Kiana there. Oh, we got this roll. That should be free then. Maybe we'll be able to end, but I'm not sure. See, that's how you motivate people. The Velcos is good now. can probably try to end because we have a lot of damage. Okay, he's gonna heal up, I hope. I'm not sure if we can end. Uh, we should. We should try. Because I don't think we're going to do anything. Kiana is going to come. Okay, she didn't hit me. And that was it. Whew. That was stressful. That was gloriously stressful, but we did it in the end. Managed to do a good fight onto the Israel and still win. So that's all about it, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.